Hi everyone, today we're going to go through how to add an employee into Xero. So essentially iCount Beans takes care of most of this procedure, but there are a few things we just want to make our clients aware of. So if you're new to our team or you've got a new employee starting, you will receive an email that looks like this from us and it has four attachments. So there's a document and then three PDFs. So with the word document, it's pretty straightforward. It's just employees' personal information that they need to fill out. Then we've got a Fair Work PDF, which is just a legal obligation. It's just a disclosure form. They don't need to fill anything out. They can just read through it. The superannuation form they'll need to complete. Section A is for the employee. Section B is for the employer. And then we've got the tax file number declaration. So again, section A is for the employee, section B is for the employer. Now there's just two things you wanna let your employee aware of when filling out the tax file number declaration. That's to tick yes to claiming the tax-free threshold. Um, as long as this is their only job or their main source of income, obviously they can't tick yes twice if they have two jobs, for example. Um, but yeah, if this is their main job, you want to make sure they tick yes, otherwise they'll be taxed at a higher rate. And the other section you want to make them aware of is if they have a hex debt to make sure they tick yes on here as well. So that's pretty much everything on your end. After your employees have filled this out, you would email it back to us at our Camp Beans and then we'd take over from there. We'd input all that data into zero and get them set up. So this is all you guys need to be aware of. But thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful.